Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Stilt Man. Which, I don't know how I feel about... I think I know what the question of the day is gonna be. This is basically just a regular release with some tubes stuck to his legs, but he doesn't have legs other than that, so it's kinda like... Not really a Build-A-Figure, but uh, I guess we'll get into that. So, there's actually not a whole lot to talk about here, but we're gonna try. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands just about 11 and a half inches to the very top of his dome, which puts him at close to... It's more like 11 and three quarters, and it's close to 30 centimeters. And that takes it all the way up to his little dome thingy up here. Okay, now question of the day. Are you guys good with this? Is this fun for you? Is this a good Build-A-Figure for you? Because to me, it's just a regular release with goofy long legs. And I get that's what the character is, but to me, this should have just been a regular release. Um, not Build-A-Figure quality as far as I'm concerned. Okay, also, it's all just marble plastic. The only paint on him is his face. And that's minimal. Everything else is just one solid color of solid plastic. No shading, no detail work. Nothing. You get nothing. And that's it. So to me, it's just like, it's not a collectible. It's just a hunk of plastic as far as I'm concerned. Granted, the marbly plastic is better here than we've seen in some cases. It's fine, but it's not, does nothing for me. So aesthetically speaking, I'll give it like a six out of 10. It's shiny, but that's about it. Accessory wise, you get a clear display stand for pegging in his feet. You have some extra options there with extra pegs on it, but it's not like you can bend it or even the bottoms. I wasn't sure at first because mine seemed stuck, but the bottoms are articulated so you can pose him a little bit. Um, they're ball hinges down here, so that's pretty good. So accessory wise, this is making a little bit more sense that it has the pegs, but even still it's just that. And then you have some alternate hands, so you have two pistol holding hands, two fist hands, and then a pistol. And that's it. So he gets accessories, which is good for a build a figure, but they're not exactly crazy good accessories. So uh, six out of 10, it's like the same stuff you would get with a normal release. So there's that. Okay, so as far as articulation goes, this big thing is a separate piece, the chest harness. And without it, you can pose the head pretty well. With it on there, you're not really gonna be able to do much. And for me, the head was super tight. Like it's very hard to even move but you can do it and his little ear thingies are soft enough that they won't break probably but posing his head with that dome is a problem for the shoulders you get better than horizontal range you do get your full rotation bicep swivel double jointed elbow pinless joints if you're into that be happy for the wrist you have a swivel and a hinge wrong type of hinge on both hands diaphragm or ab crunch won't go backwards barely goes forwards and you get a waist twist for the hips they do go pretty far forward. If you wanna do that, you can do that. Otherwise they go down and out to the side and that'll work. Technically there's a thigh swivel, uh, obviously no knee joint. And then you do have a little bit of range out of some ball hinges down here, just basically for posing purposes so that they're not just straight down. But um, that's it. So articulation wise on this guy, six out of 10. There's nothing really good about it. Some stuff doesn't work. To me, this is just a total dud, a total bust of a figure. There's really no point in having it other than because you wanted a stilt man figure, not because you wanted a quality collectible. So that's it. My final verdict on this guy is gonna be a generous five out of 10. Not worth tracking down. There's nothing really good about it other than the for marbly plastic, it's pretty good marbly plastic. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you might want to. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.